Good morning from the Gentry Boxers Nursery. Today is Tuesday. The babies all turned six weeks old yesterday and they're growing so much. So it takes us about three hours in the morning to um, get prepared for kindergarten in the morning, get everything all cleaned up and get the babies fed. And we've already done that. And everybody's taking a nap right now. So everybody's doing so well. Just love, love, love these little angels. But I thought I would take a minute where they're sleeping to some meditation music. And I thought I would, uh, I've even got, you know, a lot of laundry done. <laughs> we have mega loads of laundry. Um, but I thought I would take a minute and show you how I'm prepping their food. Uh, this is uh, 10 pounds of Bully Blend that is sourced from TexasTripe.com. They're local to us in Texas. And I'll show you what this is. This is... 801010 Prey Model Compliant. It has beef, chicken, beef tripe, chicken bones, chicken heart, chicken liver, beef liver, and beef kidney. So that's my base. And then I beef this up to um, create a very, very um, high level of immunity. I feel like my job is to give these puppies an extreme microbiome when they leave here so that they are prepared for, you know, anything that they encounter pathogen wise when they leave. So I thought I'd show you what's all in here um, and go through it all. There's uh, two ounces of Ninja Red, which is a puree from Young Living that I put in there. I use it in, in my dog's food every single day and we also drink it because it is the, it has the highest level of antioxidants of any supplement out there. It's also a great source of um, prebiotics for the puppies, and that helps the probiotics, the good bacteria, have something to eat. So they get that. They also get a few drops of fulvic humic acid, which is ionic minerals and also prebiotics. They get some sulfurzyme. I use the capsules and then I just dump them in here. You can't see them, but they're dumped in here. Uh, I don't use the powder because it's got a sweetener in it and they don't need that. But it's a source of um, uh, MSM and it also has a ninja wolfberry in it. And it, I, honestly, I, I don't go a day without eating that myself and also the dog's. So a lot of benefits to it. So I also add a source of canine-specific probiotics. I use Protect. These you can all find in my store, the Dog Breeder store, if you're interested. Um, I use also mushrooms. I like the ones from Four Leaf Rover that are an immunity blend. So that goes in there. Again, that's in my store if you're interested. This is homemade bone broth. I made a couple gallons of it uh, after they were born so I could put it in their food. I've just started adding argina, which is a, um, it's an herb that is for heart support. And because boxers do, um, as a breed, have some heart issues, we screen for them, but they can be triggered by things. So this is an herb that I give them a little bit of, and my dogs get it every day to provide heart support. They also get an extra source of organs because I've learned that the 10% um, organs is really not enough. And as you can see, this only has liver and kidney in it. So I want to add a full complement of all the organs that are in a prey item, or a prey animal. So I either use Guts and Glory that's from uh, Four Leaf, and you can get it at my store. And, or I use Pet Geo. That comes in uh, caplets or in powder form, and it's free range. And these have an enormous amount of different types of organs in them. So I like to sort of rotate those around. And um, I also add diatomaceous earth. There's food grade diatomaceous earth in here, dosed. What I do is I, I know what the whole litter weighs all together, and then I just dose for that weight as if I was dosing one dog. And then I also 
have free range chickens here. So they get, that's a free range egg. And when I uh, break those eggs open, I pull the membranes out of them and dry them. And then I throw them in my Ninja or spice grinder. And then um, I put those in there. So that gives them a really good source of joint support. So if there's, there are some things missing from these prey model compliant um, blends and you need to just know how to read the labels. Now you don't have to go as crazy as I do about all this stuff, but it does help to create a, a forever type dog. Um, oh, and the green thing is um, that's frozen, uh, blended up. Uh, kale and power greens and bone broth together. I, I mix it up and then I freeze it and um, it just adds some more micronutrients, So as does the Ninja Red. So this is a really, really complete meal. And I also do give them animal parts. I give them access to organs so that they're chewing on things and they have their, um, you know, their whole prey items. But also, I'll show you what I'm feeding Grace, because these puppies are not really able to masticate the bones yet. They will be by the time they leave here. They leave pieces like that, or there's a, I think that's a back, you know, where they just haven't finished it. And so I give these to Grace and Spice, because uh, they're fresh, and then I add a whole bunch of muscle meat. This is beef heart. And this is sweetbreads, this is liver, this is tripe. Um, I don't mind touching this stuff, you might. <laughs> and then I add their supplements. So um, these are, uh, this is just me not wasting anything. I just wanna make sure that uh, all the food gets used because we are literally going through thousands of dollars of um, food, meat and supplements here to raise these babies and so I don't want to throw anything away that's that's wonderful and useful so this is what we're feeding please post if you have any questions sorry this is so long but I just thought it might be fun to see what it is I'm actually feeding these babies and it looks like Rose is up her name is Gentry's I love being Rose so do inquire. I, I may not have any more puppies available after today, but uh, you could put in a questionnaire, an application for the next litter, which won't be for a while. This is an enormous amount of work. And there's some, there's little Red sleeping on her clean bathroom. So <laughs> anyway, hi Rose. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate all the support and comments I get and love you guys. Love these little angels.